Hi YouTube, this is Angie. <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick ARC uh, thrift store and a little bit of a th thrift haul for you, but first I wanted to show you, <clears throat> I know I talk about my camper a lot, we really are, we really are redoing one. Here's some windows that are going to be going in pretty soon. Uh, we gave up on trying to polish the aluminum because it's just, it just wasn't working, so we cleaned them, took them apart, painted them, sealed them, and then put new gaskets and all that stuff on them and those are some eyebrows sitting on the chair that go over the windows uh, yes old campers do have eyebrows and as you can see that's it sitting in the driveway um, so once we get the windows on um, we'll start working on the door but it's looking good it really does exist okay so now I'm back um, I'm going to start off this haul with a bunch of Christmas lights. Um, between myself and my husband, we are totally set on cr vintage Christmas lights. Um, I'm going to try to do this because I have to hold my cord intact because my battery's about to die. Okay, the first one, my husband picked up these. Um, some vintage charm tree lights. I think he paid a dollar for each one of these boxes. Uh, it's kind of boxes is in bad shape and ripped plastic but he um thought those would be good to get but when i looked i mean i love blue but um it would be nice if there was more colors it's almost like they this was a set that they put in all the replacements um but the box is kind of cool and they do come on um and there's a couple that are a little bit different like this one you can see looks just a little different than the older bulbs but i usually take the older bulbs out and just put them in like a jar or something and like I said, I'll use them because I like blue. These are the candeliers. Um, he got two of this kind, which I thought the box was really cute. And these are in really good shape. It looks, a couple of them look like they've never been taken out of the box, actually. I've taken them all out and, like, plugged them all up. Um, and they all work fine, and they're in really good shape. Um, but that's the one with the five candles. It's real pretty. That was a dollar. And then he got actually got two of those, and they're just alike. But I love the Santa. I love the blue and the red box. It's just really cute. I'm not sure if I'll keep these or try to sell them or what. Then he got two more, and these are pretty. They have, um, I don't know if they came that way, but they were from Sears, apparently. They have orange and, like, orange and red, and that's actually really pretty when you light it up. Um... And the back of these, in the back of the box, has got really pretty graphics. It's like a sleigh, horse, snow hill, and Christmas trees. Um, just the box alone would be cool, the way it's made, to take the candle out and do like something, like a Christmas scene or whatever, with the inside of the box. So actually these two, I think I might keep one of them. Um, if I don't sell them, you can see that one a little better maybe. I might keep one of them just because I really like the box. Well, this one's got some duct tape, so maybe not that one, but um, for a dollar a piece, that was a pretty good deal. Although, I know I've showed in one of my past videos, I found two, I think they were four, th either three or four candles I got for ten cents a piece at this awesome yard sale from this sweet little lady, but um, that's cool. We don't need any more of those. I, don't, I think we have enough, at least one for every window we've got in our house. Um, and then we went to this to a yard sale. Uh, it was an estate sale where, and it was weird. They actually, the person that bought the house was having the estate sale from the people's belongings that used to live in the house. So I guess he bought the house and bought all the belongings, and then he was just selling a lot of it. I've never, I've never been to one like that. But um, my husband got this cigar box, and it's full of like fishing flies and um, stuff to do for with fishing. He doesn't make flies, but he does work on, he does do rods and stuff, but there's a lot of little neat, uh, hooks. And I think he paid a dollar for all this. Just some, uh, little stuff in there. And there's some feathers. I think you make flies with those. A lot of little feathers. And then some weird little thing. Actually, we figured out what this is, and we had just bought him one. It's, it's when you're tying your line on your... Um, bamboo fishing rod uh, retying the eyes on that's what holds your spool of thread and it's funny because we just bought a new kind off of ebay and there's an old vintage one um 
more weird looking stuff. <clears throat> and then some tying knots. So he might try his hand at tying flies. I don't know. And this was kind of funny. Um, B&D snake bite kit. It says, apply tourniquet clean bite with the saturated antiseptic swab. Make cross incision one quarter inch long and one quarter inch deep over each fang mark. Apply suction device. Okay, I guess I can say I'm a retired nurse since I'm not actually working anymore as a nurse, but this is not, this is very old fashioned. If you get bit by a snake now, go straight to the ER. <laughs> don't cut, don't cut slices in the incision. Don't cut slices in your skin and suck out the juice. That doesn't work. That's not real. <laughs> but um, that was cool. I think he got all of that for a dollar and also some really pretty red thread, which is silk, which is what he uses for those. Um, and at that same sale, I got this. Oh, that box also had this cool article in it about deer can get you trout. Um, something about buckskin. I don't know if it gets it's making flies out of buckskin. Which is kind of cool because what I got was this cute buck for a dollar. Uh, it's got a cute little vintage Christmas bell on it. And I loved it because its horns are not broke. <laughs> it's kind of a hard plastic. Um... The kind that uh, with age and it's pretty old I think uh, although I saw no markings on it but um, it's, it just seems bri like brittle like I'm I was just surprised that it wasn't broken but I love it it's cute that's gonna be part of my Christmas and then this is a sale where in the last one I showed y'all a um one of these little gosh I'm going blank again about what this is called what is this plant called it's the kind you kiss under at Christmas I cannot believe I'm going blank again but I've got one at another sale that I just showed y'all for a dollar this one was three I asked her if she'd take two and she did but um I had forgot I got it but it's got two cute little kissing elves how cute is that um but please I don't know why I can't remember what this stuff is called gosh it's crazy but I love that I love that one better than the other one and I'll definitely keep that it's just so cute and so unique and when we were leaving this sale they had a free box and um actually it was just a box sitting at the in the driveway and I was kind of glancing at it and there was something in there I asked her how much it was and she said oh everything in that box is free and when she said free I had I had noticed the Hidden Valley Ranch bottle it's the kind that has the instructions on how to do your ranch this is like maybe from the 80s I can't remember um but it had everything in it which everything is just this little thing right here that kind of you shake and it mix you mix it up in here and then you store it in here and I recently showed one where I had found for a dollar at an estate sale a few quite a few videos back and I really wanted to keep it because I love Hidden Valley Ranch and I was t talking about how I I've always I wanted to keep it because I usually my Hidden Valley Ranch gets old because I forget it's in like a cool whip container or something well I actually listed the one that I had before and I listed it high just, just because I thought, well, like I've said before, I if it's something I really want, I'll list it kind of high and expect nobody to buy it. And if someone buys it, well, fine. I sold it for like, I think, nineteen ninety nine. So when I found this one for free, that's in really good shape like the other one, I was like so excited because now this one I'm going to keep. I and mean, I have mine and I will have one. So that was a cool, unexpected free item. <laughs> um... And then we were going to a couple other yard sales, and we pat we went by this lady's house that we have seen before. She's this, she's probably like 80 years old. She's got this cool like baby blue vintage bug car, VW bug car, and she always pulls it out when she has her yard sales and puts her big sign on it. And it's the prettiest, coolest car. Um, we've been to her sale tw I think twice, and just recently we were actually in her neighborhood. Didn't know she was having a sale. We passed her house, and I was like, Oh my God, that's the lady with the Volkswagen. She was having another sale, and she just gives her stuff away, and she's so sweet. So I got this seven-piece bamboo ca coaster set. I think it's from the 70s. Um, it's got the tray, and then like um five no six uh coasters and that was in the box she had 50 cents on that um and then i got two of the vhs 90 minute uh tapes these are for i think these are for um videoing yeah um and i actually i think one of my video machines used to use this kind but these are new sealed in the package i got for a dime a piece and then i got these two cute jars 
just because they were a dime a piece and that was just she was just she was just giving that away and she's so nice so I bought that from her we went to another yard sale in her neighborhood and I only bought one thing and I felt really dumb <laughs> the lady had a lot of books and I was like well how much are your books and she said a uh, dollar for hardbacks and 50 cents for paperbacks so I get this book and I, I glance at it and I see the fruit and stuff and I immediately I wasn't paying attention I guess I thought it was a cookbook and it's in really good shape and it had a couple things about some fruit in here or something so I said um well, how much is this one? And she said a dollar. And I started saying, I have, wanted, I have wanted one of these Betty Better Homes and Garden cookbooks for so long. And she's talking to me about it. And I don't even realize until I get home, it's not a cookbook. <laughs> so I don't know if she just thought, this woman's crazy. Does she not? Can she not read? <laughs> it's like a garden book, but it's really cool. Um, it tells you how to do a lot of gardens and things. And then it also has some um, things about houseplants and veggies and but it's a really nice, cool book. But you know what? I think I'm going to maybe try to list it on eBay or something because I was really looking for a cookbook. And I felt like 